Hi guys, it's Tracy from Country Charm by Tracy and today I am sharing a Dollar Tree haul with you. Now the majority of my things from the Dollar Tree are crafty related and I share crafty ideas with a bit of Country Charm and so when I go shopping at the Dollar Tree it is mostly for crafty items. So let me show you what I got. Okay, <laughs> this right here are so cute. So these are bikini tops and I was looking at them and I was like, well, I can use them on a wreath, you know, take them apart. Of course, not wear them as a bikini top, but uh, they're seashells. And so, you know, there's two of them in there. And so there you go, 50 cents each. These were really cute. These trays, they are like little serving trays. I got this color and they're surfboards. And then I got these two. This one's really cute. This has just different uh, summer sayings on them. And I'm going to, um, what my thought is, I'm going to put a summer saying on them and, you know, put them, decorate them, and for a wreath. The next thing I got, I picked up a couple of these uh, ch uh, clipboards. Now, I, I did post a video recently. Uh, I will link to that in the corner, um, how to crackle these boards or how I paint crackle. And let me show you just a sneak peek of what I did. This is what I'm working on. I'm not completely finished yet, but I am going to uh, paint this up and do some teacher projects on this. So I will have a video for that, so stay tuned. Okay, so I got a couple of those. And then they had just these right here, little chalkboards, uh, were cute for little signs. And then they also had these dry erase paddles. So I'll paint these up and then use them for signs from our wreaths or different projects. This right here is Match Pack Spackle. Okay, so I've been working on some things to use up my Cricut cartridge boxes. Uh, these are the old style cr Cricut cartridge boxes. Um, those of you that are old school Cricut, our cartridges would come in here. And so um, I have all these empty boxes now. So what I'm doing is I'm decorating them. And I do have a playlist. I will link to that uh, if you would like to check out some of the other projects that I've done. But they, the boxes have like an indentation. And so I needed something to kind of fill it in or putty it. So I thought this would be good to do that, match, patch, spackle, and so it dries, you know, pretty quick, and I just smooth it out the best I can, and then it, this size is almost like a 2 by 4 so it is like, I mean, why throw it away, right? Okay, I picked up a couple more of these because I love working with these 10-inch wreath forms and these do not uh, they're not grimy and they're not gritty and they're not you know make a mess uh, I did look for some of the wire frames but they were sold out and then I when I came home I looked online and they were sold out as well I'm like darn they're just a hidden jewel you know if you can get them for a dollar and there are lots more in the craft store so I knew that was gonna happen but it's all right I'll find some some other place Anyway, and then I got some of these, and what I went shopping for there at the Dollar Tree was I'm looking for some flip-flops because I'm thinking about summer wreaths already, and so I have some different sayings that I want to do that's going to say like flip-flop wel flip flops welcome, I say that 10 times really fast. Anyway, and so, hmm, they didn't even have really good flip-flops at this Dollar Tree, but I did hit some at the 99 cent store, and so I will show you those as well. But um, these are just little camera, I'm um, not cameras, <laughs> candles. They're candles. Anyway, so I thought these would be really cute. I wouldn't even have to use it as a candle if I wanted to use it just as an embellishment. Okay. I also got some of these felt pads, and so I'm going to use these like if I am going to, um, for example, this right here. I make this, and then I put these on the back, and then it it doesn't uh, it protects the back, 
and it also protects whatever they're hanging it on so it doesn't rub against something you know I cannot stand one of the things I cannot stand is when you open a door and like the wood bounces against the door it like drives me crazy in the office a girl next door has just a sign and it's just every time somebody opens and closes the door it like bobbles against the door and I'm like I don't know sorry <laughs> anyway but this will take care of it and I guess I should take some and put them on the back of her her wooden sign and say here I fixed up your sign so you wouldn't drive me crazy I should do that anyway okay so uh, also I picked up some of these LED lights now these are the butterfly oh my gosh these are so cute let me tell you what idea I have with these I am going to decorate a tree okay I do have a video tutorial on uh, some different trees that I've done I will link to that uh, up here so you can check that out later but these are butterflies look how cute they are and they're battery operated and so I got those and then I also got these look how cute those are these are like little flowers oh my gosh I'm not saying that Dollar Tree has never <laughs> had these before but this is the first time that I've seen them or that I've looked at them uh, but anyway I think these are so cute wouldn't these be cute for a luau party or something like that okay and then this right here I got it is a scarf hanger I am not gonna use it as a scarf <laughs> I'm gonna get this I'm gonna get my husband to take this off I'm gonna use this as an embellishment on a wreath I mean how cute is that it is like the perfect little flower I would have got more but this is the only one they had so so cute and then I got some of these these are jumbo plastic clothespins and I'm always looking for things to hold together now I went to Dollar Tree first and that's the reason why I got these but um, I really was looking for some of these and I found them at another dollar at another dollar uh, store so you're gonna see that in another haul but this is what I wanted and the Dollar Tree didn't have any so I was like well I'm gonna give these a try so mm, I don't know I'll, I'll see if they I like to uh, clamp things together to have you know until they dry that's what I use them for okay you know I cannot go to the Dollar Tree without buying tons and tons of flowers I do the wreaths um, I design for a local gift shop and I resell my wreaths and so that's why I get all of the stuff because um, I turn it around or as much as I can I mean I am a craft hoarder but I do turn it around so I got these little cattails aren't these so cute the pink so cute and then the green now these right here they say cattails on them but I guess they're just a different kind of color of, I mean a uh, shape of cattail and then I got this so cute and then I was so fun uh, I was so lucky to find these larks fur I had found one on my last Dollar Tree shopping and that was the only one they had but this store had several I just love the little the way they hang and stuff like that let me see oh look at this and it's cute it's a Gerber daisy but it's got more pointy leaves see how more pointy they are cute okay and then these see okay look this is Gerber Daisy and this says Gerber Daisy so I guess there's maybe different kinds of Gerber Daisies so let me see these are this kind of Gerber Daisy and then I got a purple one this is Gerber Daisy as well so cute maybe they're changing their styles a little bit with Gerber Daisies I don't know I'm not a big real flower person and then I got these Tweedia these Tweedia are cute for just filler things in some of my wreaths I know that I have used some of those 
in some of my rings. I also picked up some of these rocks and they are just stones. I get them in a little package like this at the Dollar Tree. And what I do with those is like for those Cricut cartridge boxes that I was telling you about earlier, I will glue some of those rocks inside like this. Depending on how big the rock is will depend on how many I use. The bigger ones I only use like three, maybe something like that. And then I will glue them in there and then it weights it down so that it doesn't tip over very easily. So I like to do that. I hope that you check out my other dollar store hauls as well as some crafty hauls that I got on the same day. And uh, let me share my ideas with you what I'm going to do with them. Thanks so much for watching guys and we will talk to you soon and God bless.